What's up, everybody? Woohoo! It's another weekend of some fun. Yeah! We got some music playing in the background. We don't know if it's going to make the cut. Some people might complain about it, but I don't know why, because it's kind of cool. So hopefully there won't be any complaints. And if they do, then I'm going to have to cut out the first two or three minutes of my segment, because people complain that I don't want to ruin the whole show. So there you have it. So enjoy the music while you can. Hopefully that won't be a problem. Good job, boys. Actually, good job, George. The boys aren't doing anything. SKT we got in the house. Batman in the house. No Freddy Zacks. He didn't make the trip today. He's not here. And what else? No Rabbi Rabinowitz in the house either. So you know what? I'm gonna play it safe right now. And the safe mode right now is just to do this and then change the channel in the background. And now, just in case there's some problems with that music, there won't be any problems now. Yeah, because I got stuff to explain to everybody. Uh, you know what? I don't even need that on anymore. You guys want to hear me? I know you guys want to hear me. So I will do all the talking today. So check this out. I get this phone call. Like the dress up, by the way. I dress myself today. So I'll explain about this as well. So I get this phone call, right? And I pick up the phone. I was caller ID. There was no ID. It was anonymous. So I pick it up. And then I get... Dallas House. This is Dallas House. And I'm like, yeah, hello. This is, yeah, my name is Darren. Hello, Darren's house, yes. She's like, this is Dallas House. This is Dallas House. And I'm like, okay, great. Now, she sounded like uh, that little Mexican maid that's on like a family guy. I don't know what she is. She's on a couple of segments, a couple of shows, but she's got that little foreign accent. She's dressed like a maid of some sort. No, he's not home. No, he's not home. That's what the boy sounded like. This is Dallas house. Okay, so I'm like, yeah, this is Darren. Yeah, my name is Darren. Hello, can I help you? Dallas house. I'm like, is there anyone else I can talk to? Is there someone else that want to talk to me? I want to know what's going on. I got things to do. I can't hang on the phone all day. Someone gets on the phone and he's like, yeah, she's trying to say this is Daryl's house. And I'm like, this is Daryl's house? Oh my God, is this Daryl Hall? And he's like, yeah, what's up, Darren? How you doing? Yeah. Daryl Hall gave us a call. We were real surprised on that one. Daryl Hall giving us a call. I'm like, whoa, Daryl's house. Now I get it. Well, Daryl, you've reached Darren's house. What can I do for you? He's like, me and Oates, we've been watching you guys. You guys are fantastic. We love all the shows that you've been putting on. We watch every week and we look forward to it. But we have a problem. Like... Whoa, what's the problem? What can I do for you, Daryl? He's like, the problem is, you haven't played one of our songs. And uh, I didn't even scratch my head. I acted like I was scratching my head, even though we're on the phone, so he can't see that. But I know I didn't play any of their songs. So I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't get around to doing that. You guys are great, but I didn't get a chance to do that just yet. And then Daryl's like, I was talking to Billy Joel. Apparently they're friends. And Billy was saying that when you do tributes to uh, bands and stuff like that, that you take requests as well. So I figured I'd call you up, I'd give you a request, you play one of me and Oates' songs, and we're all good to go. And I'm like, oh, all right, we could do something like that, but you guys were great. It was Daryl Hall, John Oates, there's, there's two of you guys, two, two, there's just one of me. I sure I got the band, yeah, they just play musical instruments, but nobody sings, I'm doing this solo. So he's like, we've been watching your show, Oates and I agree, you can definitely do us without a problem, so we want you to do one of our songs. And I'm like, okay, and he's like, go check your mailbox. Went to go check my mailbox, I, he was on hold, came back, I'm like, yeah, I got a package from you guys, ha <laughs> ha, they sent me this tie. And he also said, if you're gonna do one of our songs, I want you to dress up, and, you know, we look cool in the videos and stuff like that. You're fantastic, but you need to dress on your wardrobe a little bit. So we're sending you a tie. If you're going to do one of our songs, we want you to look the part. So I said, wow, you want me to do one of your songs? You want me to promote you? Look the part. I can do all this stuff. And then he said, if you're really good, we're going to promote you. And you and the boys can come down to Daryl's house and perform down there. 
And I'm like, oh my God, is that still on the air? I didn't know that. He's like, it's not on the air, but I still have people come over and stuff like that. So I would love to have you guys come. So I'm like, all right, great. I'm going to do my best. I'll put my tie on and stuff like that. And I said, Daryl, I am rolling out the red carpet treatment for you and Oates. Okay. I've got the sideburns to represent you. I've got the dark hair to represent Oates. And that's all I can do right now. So I dressed up and I'm trying to do both of you guys and we're gonna do one of your songs. And then Daryl's like, there's what's one last request. I'm like, what? He's like, I want you to do a love song. A love song, whoa! I told him we don't do love songs. Did you see like video number six? He's like, yeah, me and sorry. You said you're not gonna do love songs until you get 20 subscribers and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, but we really would appreciate if you would do a love song, but it's got to be one of ours. And I said, okay, I want to do a love song. It's going to be one of yours. I'll come down to Daryl's house and me and the boys will perform, even though it's not on air, but we'll still hang out with whatever celebrities you got going on there. We got no problems with that. And uh, there you go. But I'm going to pick the song. And then he said, no problem. You can pick it, but it's got to be a love song. So here we go. Our first love song, a tie from Hall & Oates. They wanted me to dress the part. Sideburns for Daryl, dark hair for John. And the boys are ready to do a little rock and roll. So let's dim the lights and give you our first love song, even though we never got 20 subscribers. But you know what? Daryl Hall, that's a big card to throw into the mix. If he asks, we'll do it. Let's play it, boys! By the way, we're a couple of shots in. Yeah, let's try that one again. And I've got the mic. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. And there's no tenderness like before when your fingertips You're trying hard not to show it But baby, baby, I know it You've lost that love and feel it For you and girl you're starting to criticize little things I do Whoa. oh it makes me just feel like crying cuz baby something's beautiful dying you've lost that love that 
Check us out. My agent's gonna love this. 